guys, it's Brian with Chirpicanic. I'm about ready to put down some fertilizer on my front yard over there. I've got a whole bunch of annual ryegrass that just died and Bermuda grass that's coming out of winter dormancy. And I need to fertilize it and give it its initial push for the spring season so that it can be thick and healthy throughout the summer. But I want to take this opportunity to share with you guys one of the simplest and most elegant solutions to deciding how much fertilizer to put down on your lawn without hardly any mental energy. I can do this sort of math in my head, or you could just use a calculator right there on your phone, or you can go all out and make yourself the dumbest little spreadsheet possible on your computer so that you never have to think about this again. This simple math can be applied to any bag of fertilizer that you grab. It doesn't matter what the bag of fertilizer is. It doesn't matter how big your yard is. I'm a firm believer that you should understand what you're doing, but once you have an understanding of what you're doing and figure out the simplest way to apply that information, that's what I'm doing right here. First of all, you need to know the square footage that you're dealing with. For me, I'm dealing with 1,000 square feet. There are online tools available that you can map out your yard and estimate square footage, or you can just do my preferred method, step it out. Unless you've got gigantic or tiny feet, literally one foot at a time. Do the math. Length by width. Rounding is usually fine. You might have other sections of your lawn. Do the same thing. Add up every section that you need to fertilize. Just add up the square footage. The next thing you're gonna do so you're going to find the bag of fertilizer that you're going to use. This could be sitting at the store. You can do this math in your head at the store. This product, for me, you're going to be using the SoilFit product. It's a mixture of urea, ammonium sulfate, and natural sources, feather meal and soybean meal. So it's a variety of nitrogen sources. But the only thing that matters for us is this number right there, 8. 8% 8 is nitrogen. No matter what bag you pick up, find the nitrogen percentage. This is the volume of nitrogen in the bag. The whole bag weighs 45 pounds. 8% of that is nitrogen. You don't need to do that math. Just need to know that number. Eight. And then you got to go use your mind and decide what kind of application rate you want to put down on your lawn. If I were to follow the instructions here, this says this amendment covers, this fertilizer covers 15,000 square feet at a rate of three pounds of product per thousand square feet. What does that mean? Three pounds of product? You need to know how much nitrogen per thousand square feet you want to put down on the line. For me, I want to put down today 0.75 pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet. So if you do 0.75 per thousand square feet four times over the course of a year, then that's three pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet on your lawn every year. That's pretty much perfect for the vast majority of lawns. So regardless of what this is telling me, I want to go and put three quarters of a pound of nitrogen down on this lawn and then not have to fertilize it again for a long time. Some of you guys out there might want to put down small doses of nitrogen on the lawn more regularly. And some of you might be using really natural and organic products where you can put down one to one and a quarter pounds of nitrogen and just do it two or three times over the course of a year. So whatever it is that you want to do, you have to know that number. For me, I'm going to put down 0.75 pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet. That's what I want to do. I need to know the 0.75, I need to know the eight, and I need to know how much square footage I want to cover. That is it. With those three numbers, I can take this, pour it into my scale over there, and weigh out the exact correct amount of fertilizer to put on this lawn without reading anything. Now here's the trick. So if you're sitting in front of Excel or in front of a computer, or if you're just really naturally gifted at math in your head, you're going to take your desired application rate, which is 0.75 in my case, and divide it by 0.08 or 8%. So if I were to divide this bag into 45 one pound segments, each one of those little like bowls of fertilizer would contain 0.08 pounds of nitrogen in total. Then I say, okay, I want 0.75 pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet. And I'm gonna divide that 0.75 divided by 0 0.08. And then that's going to tell me that I need 9.4, like the answer to that equation is 9.4. 
that means I need 9.4 pounds of this product. 9.4 pounds of this product is going to give me 0.75 pounds of nitrogen per thousand square feet. That's it. It's literally all, I, all you got to do. 0 0.08 pounds of nitrogen. I want a 0.75 application rate divided by 0 0.08 for every pound of product. And that gives me 9.4 pounds of product needed. That's it. 9.4 pounds of product per thousand square feet. Now, if I'm going to do 2,500 square feet, and I'm going to multiply that by two and a half. If I'm going to do 500 square feet, then I'm going to divide that by two uh, to cut the rate down. And somewhere in between, you know how much lawn space you have. It's all simple math. So anyway, this entire video is about the math. I do have the most boring, simple, small spreadsheet you could imagine that I'm going to share on Google Drive. I'll link to it down in the description below. But literally on the sheet, there are three cells that all you have to do is put in your nitrogen percentage, your desired application rate, and the amount of square footage that you need to cover. And the whole thing calculates it for you in about a second. You know, it's a spreadsheet. It takes less than a second. Everything I've said in this video, you can just build the whole thing yourself. But uh, hey, it's fun to share. All right, this is seriously as dumb math as it gets. Right here, put in your desired application rate of nitrogen. Let's say you wanted to be crazy and put in two pounds of nitrogen. Let's say you had a crazy lawn space where you wanted to put a gigantic dose of 48% nitrogen concentration of your product, straight urea. That means every pound of product puts down 0.48 pounds of nitrogen. So you would only need 4.2 pounds of product per thousand square feet. 800 square foot section, you need 3.3 pounds of product. Let's say you're putting it on 5,000 square feet. You would need 21 pounds of product. Let's say you wanted to put down 0.3 pounds of nitrogen on your lawn using a product that uses 0.25% concentration. You would need 12 pounds per thousand square feet or 60 pounds for 5,000 square feet or 12 pounds for 1,000 square feet. I hope you understand. So I'm going to go ahead and rip this bag open. I'm going to stick it in my scale over there, 9.4 pounds in the scale, stick it into my spreader, spread it all along the lawn here. And in about seven days or so, you're going to see less and less of this brown and more and more of this green. And the lawn is going to start looking smoking fire, kind of like my Kentucky bluegrass over there. Applied the stuff to the lawn. I'm going to water it in because a lot of this is urea. I want it to get into the lawn. Some of it is water soluble. I want that into the soil right away. Now, it's possible that some of that was a little bit hard to follow. I hope it wasn't. But I do have another video that I made, uh, I don't know, about a year ago about the same topic. How much fertilizer do you put down on the lawn at once? I presented this information differently in that video. So maybe that video will help you understand this concept just a little bit better. If you're a little bit lost having watched this video, watch that older video that I made. And uh, if you want, take a look at the shared spreadsheet that I have down in the description below. Once you look at it, you're going to think, holy crap, that is a really dumb, simple spreadsheet that is quite useful.